Good afternoon, everyone. This is Carrie from the Bird's Nest in Dyersville, Iowa. And if you haven't noticed lately, I have been reformulating. And what that means is I am taking old discarded items and turning them into art. And it's so fun. So it's like taking crafting to another level because um, it's a little more sophisticated than just crafting. So we're reformulating. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to make these bottle boas. And they're so cool. They would make great hostess gifts. I don't know, I'm gonna show you a few. So what they are are old bed springs with linens, old linens, and I've put them in a mixture of gel medium and our varnish to stiffen them up and then wrapped them around these um, bed springs and so they're removable. So you can give them as a gift and they're strong and sturdy. Um, I think they'd make great hostess gifts. But anyway, oh and these are my gnomes. Well, that'll be another thing, but these are two gnomes. You can't see this one's nose real well because it's dark back there, but they're so cute. So anyway, um, we're gonna, I'm going to show you a couple things. Heidi's going to try to field questions if she can. Um, you know, we do run a store, so uh, somebody's got to watch the store while, while I play. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you how to get this look um, this is the one that's dried and then I'll paint that one so if you bear with me I'm gonna switch I'm gonna get the camera and switch around and let's see what we can do you're gonna have to look at me so sorry give me a second give me a second give me a second I need a camera guy. Where's Alfred when you need him? Okay. So we're going to try to get this on where you can see. Hello. Come down just a little maybe. So I'm going to do it from here. Can you see? Everybody can see? Yay. Okay. So in order to get this look, this is before it's painted and decorated up. This is, hold on, this is what it looks like after it's all decorated up, painted, embellished with old jewelry. It's so fun because you, well, especially around here, because Heidi never throws anything away, and you can find all kinds of great things. Um, but uh, you can use anything. Um, they're just fun. They're whimsical. They're definitely art. You know, everybody has their own interpretation of art. So that's why I refer to myself as a reformulating artist, because I'm taking old discarded pieces of whatever and turning it into something totally functional. So this was an old, what was this, Heidi? An old valance, maybe? An old tablecloth? Anyway, it's pretty sheer. Um, so I've used it a couple times because I like how it drapes, um, but it was beyond like re, like actually using. It had spots on it and holes, so this was a perfect, perfect find for me. So what I've done, you see my little mixture in here? I'm getting down. I'm going to have to mix some more probably. Maybe not. But what I've taken is I have taken our gloss varnish and our gel medium and I've mixed it and made this concoction so it's probably like two ounces of um, the varnish and about two tablespoons of the gel medium and I just mixed it up and actually I've been using this I used a little more than that um, when I mixed mine because I've been using this quite a while and I just put it in a Tupperware and it's fine it's been like this for a week so it holds up real good as long as it's got a good seal. So this is this can be kind of messy, or um, I like to get my hands all dirty. Hi, Cece! Um, I like to get my hands all dirty so this doesn't bother me. 
Um, you can lay out a piece of um, wax paper and paint it out, you know, that way on wax paper. But I just like to get it in and just cover it with stuff. Can you see? I'm just kind of covering it. Because you want to get it nice and... Because what this does, this helps it stay or um, dry a little um, stiff. So you can manipulate it a little more once you um, are ready to put your paint and stuff on. You can give it more creases. Seriously, this is so fun. I love this. And you know, okay, so my husband, he spent three days. A friend of mine, I'll, I'll go back. A friend of mine, ah, Cece, a friend of mine um, was cleaning out her house, and she had in her attic four... Um, old bed springs, like the old, you know, two were full size and I think one, two were, were queens, whatever, they were a lot of them. So my husband and his grinder spent three days in our garage um, cutting off all these springs. And I was like, well, what am I going to do with them all? I can't throw them away. So Heidi put a few in the store and we sold a few and... Um, you know, we people did crafts with them for uh, for Christmas and that kind of stuff. But I'm like, okay, so I'm now a reformulating artist. I love that name, by the way. We came up with that because it's just so fun to say. Um, and it's it actually is. It's true. We are reformulating art. We're making art out of um, discarded things. Like as much as Heidi would hate to admit it. Chris is also a reformulating artist, her husband, because he takes, I'm going to just add a little more um, varnish to this. I'm not going to get the gel medium out because it's got quite a bit of gel medium. But he takes wonderful old thrift store art, and um, and he's a true artist, like a true, true artist. And he paints action figures and little Star Wars people and stuff on them. They're so cute. And if you're in Dyersville, by the way, you know, we're having a pop-up art gallery. Um, starts the 13th, right, of February? Yeah. So it's the last three Thursday through Sundays in February, right? Is that how it goes? Um, so the, uh, and I think they've got like 12 artists. It's going to be kind of fun. So, you know. The whole art world is open to so much interpretation. It's, um, you know, sometimes I th Heidi thinks I'm a little crazy. We all know that. Um, with the stuff I've been doing, she's like, oh, when are you going to paint furniture again? I'm like, I will. I will paint furniture again. But this is so fun. But anyway. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding a little water to this because, I, like I said, I used the last bit of my um, concoction. And it's still... It, like, the last time I did this, I had a lot, and I was squeezing it out of my fingers. So this time, I'm just trying to work it into the cloth. And it goes, you know, it really is wetter than I thought it was. But anyway. So there you go. Your, your linen is soaked with this wonderful gel medium varnish concoction. So, I just kind of straighten it out a little. Let me... Put my brush in my water. Put my little thing away. This is so fun. I have missed doing live videos so bad. It's just been so, so, so bad. Okay, so then I'm just going to lay it over my spring. Now, I don't, like this spring, as you can see, it touches the wine glass or the wine bottle. So once I get it on there and it dries a little, I'm going to just kind of lift it off because, because of our... <laughs> great adhesion, is that a word, adhesion, um, of the um, gel medium and the varnish, it could stick to the bottle. I guess you could put um, Vaseline or something over it if you didn't want to, or you can set, your bot set it up like that. But anyway, while it's still wet, I'm just taking this, and I want like a, a drapey kind of look let me turn it around and show you what I'm doing 
So I'm just like draping it, almost like putting a shawl on it or a boa. That's why they're wine bo bottle boas. And you just want to get it to where it looks very elegant and sweet. But you want to cover up the bottom parts of the springs. Um, well, I guess you don't have to 100%. Um, okay, so if you can see that, it's just being seriously, literally draped around the spring. And then what I did in the front was I just took these two and kind of looped over. There's really no rhyme or reason. You know that's my whole saying in life. There's no rhyme or reason. Just do what feels right. And then I just tied it in a knot. And this knot's a little loose, so I'm going to take it up. Okay. Hold on just a second. I gotta reform. I gotta reformulate this. Maybe I need to wrap around one more time. Nope, I don't have enough. Okay, so let's figure out something else. How about we tie it in a knot and just leave the knot because it will hold itself once it starts drying. It will hold its shape. That's why I do this um, first because it gives me the drapes. And then after it dries, I can go back with a little more um, gel medium and form it just a little bit more. I need to get a little lip here. Hold on. I'm sticking it. Can you see? I'm just sticking it in here. And I think it's going to stay. So it'll dry like that. Well, no, it's not. What the heck, man? Here, why don't I just do this? I'm going to tuck it. See, there's, a, there's no rhyme or reason, so you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to tuck the longer piece up in there and then just have one hanging down. See how I did that? How I made that work? So I also um, go around, and like I said, I try to pull as much of the lace or cotton or whatever you're using away from the bottle um, because it will stick. And so there you have your little bottle boa and let it dry. And once, like I said, once it dries, if you want to add more creases and stuff to it, you can take a little more gel medium and it'll, you can set it where it wants to be. But I kind of like how it just goes naturally where it wants to go. I'm just playing. Can you see? Sorry, I'm out of camera. So, and I can see this is sticking. And so it looks like a little shawl. And so when you pick it up, you can see it comes off, goes back on, comes off and goes back on. I would still like mid-drying, come back and take it off again. And make sure that it's not sticking to your bottle. Or like I said, you could put Vaseline or whatever around it. But so that is, see how easy that was? Super easy. I think the hardest part of this is finding the um, springs. I gotta go wash my hands real quick. Heidi will answer any questions. <clears throat> Now that we have this, this will dry, and I usually let it dry about, um, well, depending on the lace. Like, I've used, like, for this one, I used a cotton, an old um, pillowcase, and it was a little thicker, and it took about um, four hours to dry before I could start painting it. Um, but these, this thin, um, lacy ones, they usually dry in, like, an hour or so. I mean, you can still do them if they're damp, if you don't want to um, change the, you know, the molding of how it is. So, this one, sorry, I got this cool little old computer chair up here now. Um, so this one, you can see, totally dries hard, and I'm painting it on a mason jar. But I like, I like all this stuff that's hanging down, you know, all the wickly stuff. So, I'm going to paint this one. 
our iridescent berry. I think it's called berry. Is Nancy watching? Very clever. Megan and I are enjoying. Hi, Beck! Hi, Beck! And Meg! Oh, Meg would love this. You could get dirty. Get your hands all messy. So this is our iridescent. So it's a metallic. Um, and I'm kind of bold if you've noticed some of these. So what I've done is I've added a little bit of water to this because it's a, it's a thicker paint. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I've been sick. So all you do is just paint it on. I'll move on my stuff. You just paint it on. It's so easy. And then, like I said, I embellish it with broken jewelry that I've found around the shop or um, Scrabble tickets or Scrabble blocks. What are they called? Scrabble tiles. Sorry. I had a mishap. And Heidi's suggestion was to also paint, if the, if the neck doesn't match your jewels or your embellishment, you can paint the neck of it. So some of them I've left rustic, and some of them I've painted gold or metallics when I did black. So, I hope you can see this. I'm not paying attention to myself. But so, it's super simple. And you could do this with anything. You know, you could do this with, um, I did one, well, hold on, I'll show you. Midstream. This one, I did with a doily. And it looks like, um, actually, Cece, if you did them, this would be great for you. Because you could do, like, shells on it. Because it looks kind of like a net. But I did rustic stars. But what I did was, I took the doily, it was a pretty good sized doily, and I just cut the center out of it and laid it over. Af okay, let me let me do this again. Cut the center out of it. Stuck it in the mixture of gel medium and varnish. Um, I let it dry just a little. And then I put it back over the bottle and over this. And then I just manipulated it and layered it on top of each other. There's so I mean, there's really no nothing you can't do. Um... So you could use doilies, you can use napkins, you could use hankies. You could use, I think honestly, I think these would be really cool um centerpieces at a wedding. Cuz then you know you're cuz they go over champagne bottles too. And um maybe we'll start a new trend from the from the uh mason jars. We'll go to wine bottle bottle bowls. So anyway, I'm just painting this on and plus the um the paint will also make it a little more stiff when it dries. Um, and if you have problems like getting in the grooves, I just add a little water to my brush and just stick it in there. Because I also come in and do the backside. And you can, you can um, tint your mixture, but because I made such a big amount of mixture and I didn't want them all the same color, I didn't. But you can totally tint your your um, varnish and gel medium mixture that you could, so, you, you know, you wouldn't have to, like, paint so precise. You'd, I think you'd still want to, um, you know, go over it maybe one more time just to touch it up to brighten it up a little because whenever you're diluting um, the colors, you know, it, it does dull it just a little because you're adding more... Um, clear to it. Not so bad though. I shouldn't say that. Nancy's paints are pretty awesome. They hold their color pretty well. But I do I I noticed that um sometimes these little grooves and crevices get a little hard. So I just wet my brush a little more and just let it drip. And it'll drip in there. I'm loving this color. What do you think of the color? Wah, 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 wah. So again, I think, you know, Valentine's coming up. You could make one of these for your um, significant other uh, Valentine's surprise. Put it, you know, make a little boa, personalize it. Um, you know, get your bottle of champagne or wine or whatever it is you're partaking of. And uh, then you could save it. You can say, oh, do you remember our Valentine's 2020? 
It was so romantic, and you made this beautiful thing for us to enjoy at our dinner table. And then you can say, yes, honey, it's up in the cabinet. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but the, uh, the other fun thing is, you know, going through all the old um, jewelry and stuff. Some of the stuff is just amazing. And I know that nobody's going to ever wear it again, but it looks so cool embellished on something. So, you know, like the red one that I did, I think it has like an old earring and an old... Um, scarf pin, you know, you could do, um, like I said, the Scrabble, you could personalize them, you know, you could get, like, um, something that has the letter A or something that has the letter M for your last name, or they could just, you could, they're so cute, and they're so really simple, easy to make. Um, the hardest part is waiting for it to dry, and that's not bad, because if you're like me, I worked on, like, five at a time. So I got five of them um, draped and then went back and then just started embellishing them. Cute. Cute. And so unique. I'm telling you, no one else is going to have them unless they come here and buy them. I was even actually thinking um, I might put up on the website, I might put up a kit like with four for um, bed springs and a little bit of gel medium and a little bit of varnish so you could make your own. You could watch along and make your own. Because seriously, they're so cute. And you know, they it doesn't necessarily have to just be um, like a wine bottle. Like I said, you could, if you drink Grey Goose, you could put it on a Grey Goose bottle. Anything that has a narrow... Um, neck and is fairly round like it, I don't think they'd fit on a Jack Daniels bottle they may I don't know I don't know if Jack Daniels would want to be embellished with frills and and uh glamoury stuff but you never know but so so these are the short ones there were two different sizes and then there was one that was really tall and I didn't it didn't um like it goes up past the bottle um, and it didn't look right. So it's not good for the boas. So what I did with those was I made gnomes. And they're cute too. They're really cute. I'll show you um, just real quick. So this is the start of another gnome. But see, these, these go up past the bottle top. So it, it needed like a hat. But this is old curtain fringe. I just cut it off and I made his little face. Yep, that'll be another project, because they're fun, too. And they're, you know, pretty much all the same. Um, as far as, like, molding the shapes of the hats, um, it's all the same. I use the same um, gel medium and varnish mix mixture to, uh, you know, stiffen up the fabric. Um, actually, one... I, the fabric was really, it was a, an old pillowcase, and it was really, really soft and worn. And so I actually took it out and laid it out on um, a sheet of wax paper and painted it and then hung it up to dry with little clothespins just so it got kind of a little stiff so I could mold it into the hat, the cone hat. Um, so it was kind of like uh, starched. You know, like, you used to starch clothes. I don't think they do that anymore. Um, so then once I got it molded, I put more of the mixture over it to harden it more. So these are all just fun things to do. They'd make a great class, I think. Everybody could, you know, come in and embellish. I think if I did a class, I would have one that's done like this that they can paint and one that they... Um, would drape themselves so they can see how it's done. So you would walk out with two. That would be fun. That would be fun. And you could bring in, if you had like a special brooch or something that was your mother's or your grandmother's or something that meant something to you that you probably would never wear again, you can put it on your bottle boa and keep it forever. So anyway, I don't want to um, like just bore you with all this. 
But anyway, so that's what you did. I mean, that's what I do. I just paint them. Can you see? I just go around and I paint the whole thing and then I embellish. So, um, let me show you. This one I love. Well, there's quite a few that I love. I love this one because I used all the iridescent colors and it's that like um, what I call carnival glass look and then found this pin. Isn't it cute? They're so cute. And then this one is for your Iowa fan. We're here in Iowa so this says Iowa in, scra in Scrabble letters. Yellow with a little tint of black. Anyway, that's how they are. This is another one I love. This was the first one I did. <gasps> there it goes. Anyway. Good thing they're not breakable. This is the first one I did. And I put little bitty rhinestones. And I attached those with the, with the molding gel. Well, let me just tell you folks. Since I have found molding gel into my life, um, it has, it's the go-to product for me. Because it, does everything. I love it. It's good for we're getting into mixed media arts and even texturing on furniture. Uh, I don't know if you saw the piece that I did that was the um, like wavy look on the front of it. But I used actually I used molding. I mean I used yeah I used molding gel on that one, not gel medium, so because it was a little thicker. But stick with us because we're gonna have all kinds of fun things. You know we're. We're launching this um, this reformulating movement, um, trying to you know add a little fun to repurposing and craft or artwork and trying to make it a, a a movement. That's you know I don't know what else to say. It's going to be fun. We're all. You know, everybody's creative in their own way, and uh, everyone should be able to express that. And so, you know, we want to make it so there's no limitations for anybody. You know, if you feel like you want this green, paint it green if that's what you want. If you want to put a cow on it, put a cow on it. It all depends on what your liking is. That's what art's all about. Everybody has their own um, interpretation. And people either like it or they don't. But the majority of people, even if they don't like it, they totally appreciate it. They understand it. So don't be afraid to put your creative hat on. I mean, if you guys have followed me for a while, um, you know, I'm, I've always been kind of out of the box. Like, you know. My furniture has been wild colors, and I've always experimented with textures and that kind of stuff. And, of course, that's not going to stop. Actually, I'll just tell you this. Um, I have these two end tables down <laughs> downstairs at the shop, and they have um, that wicker kind of uh, skirting around it, and the wicker's all torn up. I'm going to do this technique on the wicker. I think it'll look really cool. I just haven't got to that yet. It's winter here in Iowa, so, you know, it's cold, snowy. We've had snow for the past three days. I've been sick. Um, you know, just great. But it's all, it's all good because I'm now here in Dyersville, so that makes a huge difference um, in my life and, and in Heidi's life. Because <laughs> we're open seven days a week now, guys, if you're here locally, if you didn't know that. Um, of course, depending on the weather this time of year, but, um, the, uh, the weather is always, um, a factor this time of year in Iowa, as in probably Washington. I've seen Heidi, I mean, uh, hello, Kim. Um, I've seen, uh, Cece posting that she's got some weather up there her way, too. So it is the winter months, but this is a great, again, this is a great indoor project because, first of all, all of our products are non-toxic and they're VOC free. They have no heavy metals. There's no smell, so they are perfect for when you're stuck in the house and need something to do. So this is, uh, 
this is the epitome of of uh, happiness for me because I never have to stop because I don't have to worry about having a door open or a window open. See, Kim, you're getting your box. Look what you're going to do. You'll have to watch the video from the start. Kim's going to get a starter pack. <laughs> She's going to get um, some of these to make for her um, herself, for her friends, whatever. It's just fun. It's just fun. Can't you just have fun? And like I said, I think they'd make an awesome hostess gift. I mean, wouldn't you be the belle of the ball if you brought a, a wine boa to your part to your party? I think you would. Because they're totally reusable. Anyway, I've chatted enough. I'm going to let you go. I just wanted to hop on and show this to you. But see, they paint up really cool. And then, like I said, once you get it painted, um, you can... Put your embellishments on, and if you use the iridescents, you really don't have to um, put a sealer on them, but I still put a gloss over it, um, just in hit or miss spots, just like where it wear, in case, uh, you know, the wine people got a little crazy, but you really don't have to put a sealer over it with the iridescents, but I just would. It, you mean, you know, you're spending all your time doing this. Put a sealer on it. Make it pretty. Make it shine. Anyhow, here's the start. I'll post it when it's finished. Um, stick with us because we're going to do, maybe I'll do gnomes next week. They're fun too. They're so cute. I'm going to show you them one more time. This is man gnome. So this, like I said, this was curtain fringe. This was a, um, a doily that went on the back of a chair. So it was pretty um, dense. And then it's just over a spring. And he just lifts off. You can take him wherever. Put him back on. Super cute. There's one. I got pink. I'm going to probably get pink all over everything. And then this one was the one that has, his nose is a little more hidden, but, so this is a doily piece that was just thrown on the floor and I made a flower out of it, and this was an old pillowcase. <laughs> so, again, find what, you, find what you have and use what you have. And if you don't have it, hop on down to Savvy Salvage in Dyersville, Iowa, because I guarantee Heidi has it. And if she doesn't, she'll find it. But anyway, well, if you're out and about, come stop by and see us. We're at 240 First Avenue East, downtown Dyersville, Iowa. And we are always here to help you. And uh, I think we've got some fun classes coming up. Um, Heidi's got a, what are you calling it? A junk journal class? Yeah, yeah, paper bag journal. Paper bag journal. Well, look who's coming to the party. Nancy's here. And we're just about to wrap it up. <laughs> She'll have to watch the replay. <coughs> um, yeah, we're going to do some fun things. We're going to do some classes. We're going to have some um, mixed media art um, stuff. Like I said, the junk journals. I think one of the fun things I think we should do is have like a treasure hunt where you come in the day before and you go through the store and find all these little things that you want to um, put on a canvas or on a board to make a mixed media art. And then you come back the next day and we put it all together. I think it'd be fun. Once we get the piano bar out of the way and we can get to the art bar again, that'll be fun. Anyway, thank you for joining us. We will see you again later. And I think I need to get my hair, my purple put back in because I'm pretty all silver right now. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below. We will answer them to the best of our ability or find someone who can. So remember, don't forget. Oh, and the masks. Yeah, we have masks too, Nancy. Good job. We have ma oh, we're going to have all kinds of fun. All kinds of fun. We're still going to do some furniture. Don't get me wrong. Um, but we're going to concentrate a little more on 
reformulating art and uh, using what we throw away. Nancy's got some really cute ideas for um, the totes, for repurposing your totes, you know, that you get at the fair that says Red Cross or, you know, such and such hospital or whatever that you just use for that event and then you throw it away. Well, you don't throw it away. You put it in a box. But anyway, we're going to have so much fun, you guys. I promise. So stick with us and we will see you later.